Yeah, the, the did okay is an interesting work in and of itself because I, I think we, it shows an interim um, uh, place where Christianity and Judaism is still linked, um, but Christianity is attempting to find its own legs. So I, yeah, Didache I, is I see Didache as a strange early sect. Like it, 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 it didn't take you know like the FFOZ and the and the, who's the uh, oh he did his PhD on it. Nassim, I think is his name. Um, they they try to put the Didache as f- back in the first century, yeah, and I actually don't buy it. Pre- actually <clears throat> present it as if it has valid right. instruction for the church. Now, yeah, for, I, I mean, you know, I, or for Messianic Jews, and and that's such a it. I tried di- dipping my feet into the Didache studies, and I'll tell you what, I, I mean. I disagree with most scholars because I think it's late. I think it's well, it's late. late. Yeah, we know. And here's things that I I, I remember asking. Uh, I think it's Daniel Nassim. I asked him about it because he read his, he had just finished his dissertation on Didache, and I said, "Hey, well, what do you think about where it talks about uh, the gospel as a written text?" Right, and it's like it kind of. I think I kind of caught him off guard. I, I uh, I'm like, yeah, we know that. When it's only in the second century when the word gospel in Greek is used as an, like it's a, it's an object of ref, like a right. written text that's being cited, the gospel. Um, that's way late. So that's, and there's other reasons. Yeah. I think, I think end really, of, I think end of the second century. And I know a lot of scholars who say, no, 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 it can't be that late. I think it's end of the second century. Anyway, not the point. The point, the point okay. is the reason in the Messianic Jewish world, and when I say Messianic Jewish, I mean um, Jews that are probably of a bilateral ecclesiology, right? Um, and they believe in the Bible, like they believe in the sixty-six books. Um, but when it comes to exegesis of that position, that there is that because because they arrive at that view of the world through because they've walked through the rabbinic candy land. Right. And they come out, <laughs> they've got, they've got like, you know, little Ooh. candy stuck to them and they've been drinking the chocolate river and all this kind of stuff. Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. Yeah. You know, they come out, they've got little, the little factory. They got candy canes, they got candy canes, <laughs> you know, wet licked candy canes stuck to their clothes, you know, and then right. they go and they read the gospel and then they interpret it through rabbinic right. candy land or wonderland. Right. And, and then but then what happens subsequently there, they bring this worldview into the Gospels. And, uh, and so that's why they have rabbis. That's why they, they say there's 613 for, for Israel and, and, you know, and the Gentiles have a limited portion in the Torah. And that the rabbinic halakha goes back, right? I mean, because they are projecting the rabbinic imagination from the Babylonian Talmud times and propaganda and, yeah back into the first century so so that's why but because they don't arrive at it exegetically from the text they, they look at other they're they kind of go oh well there's this didache, didache thing or there's just midrash about you know Abraham and destroying the idols you know in his father's idol shop you know, there's different kinds of stories and lore that they draw from later times to try to edify the church. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell us your thoughts on this subject by leaving a comment in the comment section. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and enable those notifications. And we'll see you in the next video.